3D Giraffe Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! So as I mentioned in the title of the video, I'm going to be talking briefly on where I get my inspiration. And so the first thing I want to mention is this giraffe suit, or onesie, that really inspired me to do this 3D giraffe nail art. And so this thing is so soft and amazing and comfortable and adorable, and I get really cold when I sleep, so something like this is perfect. And it's so warm and it's just so very soft. So that was a moment where I got inspired to do nail art. And so as soon as I have that moment, that little thing, ooh, wouldn't that be cool to do on a nail? The first thing I want to do is write it down, which is why I have this. And I have two of these. I have one downstairs by the couch, and I have one in my bedroom, so that any time that I have a moment where I just really need to write something down, I do it. And then inside the binder, I have lists of things and anything I need to do and then I start drawing things out. That is plans for my birthday cake and it was also plans for a design I did on my face for Independence Day a couple of days ago. And so that's how I do things when I get inspiration. The first thing I want to do is I write them down because you can forget things so quickly and you have this moment of oh that'd be amazing and then 20 minutes later you can't remember what it is. So write things down immediately. And as far as getting inspiration from things, get it from anywhere. Don't just try to go to Instagram and look up nail art to see what trips your trigger. Look for things outside, you know, outside, outside of the internet. So like giraffe pajamas or, or a Coke bottle that's just sitting by your sink. That's what happened with the Coke bottle design I did. So any, just look around in your life to see what, what is interesting. And anything that you like, it can be a piece of furniture or just, just really anything you see because it's hard to create unique nail art these days because everything has been done at least twice. And so to try to find something new, you have to look outside the little square box that's been used for so long to figure out something that inspires you and that you like. And remember that you're doing nail art for yourself, not for anybody else, so it doesn't matter if it's a totally strange design, like a crocodile. If you like it, you should make it. That's, that's how I think. So anyways, so that's a little bit on how I get my inspiration. If you'd like a more in-depth video, definitely comment with that and I can go through more of my design creation process if you'd like. Otherwise, definitely check out this giraffe suit. It's amazing. I will put a link to it in the description box because it's so soft, so comfortable. It's just, it's like being wrapped in a cloud of giraffe awesomeness. Yeah, and I hope you like the tutorial. It's coming up in just a second here and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin by creating an overlay on my nail tip with this really pale blue acrylic. And the reason I'm doing this blue is because when, you, when you're looking at a giraffe, you're looking up and his face is in the sky. So I decided to have a sky blue um, overlay for my background. And I am trying to keep this thin. The giraffe himself is fairly thick, so you don't need to make your nail tip super thick or your nail itself super thick. So because that giraffe... Um, 3D art is going to add a lot of strength on its own, but you definitely want to have some strength, which is why right now I'm going to add a layer of clear acrylic, and this is going to, as I said, it's going to add strength, and it's also going to make sure that that blue is protected. Color acrylic is really hard to predict how it's going to be if it gets filed. Sometimes it's fine and looks like nothing happened. Sometimes it gets kind of white looking. Sometimes you just don't know for sure how the pigment is going to react to being, um, coming in contact with something abrasive like a file. So you want to make sure to just add that clear on top to protect it just in case you hate to get so far into a design and then have to start over because something happened. So just add that on. And then I'm going to be filing it with a 240 grit file. This is just going to remove any bulk that happens to be on there because like I said, we don't need a lot of thickness on there. Just enough to make it so it's not going to be broken if you drop it immediately. So now I'm going to be shaping my giraffe's head with some gold acrylic. This is a really soft gold. It's not like a a 24 karat gold or anything it's just kind of a pretty beige -ish, shimmery color and so I'm gonna first do his face and giraffes their forehead tapers up and then it comes down to where their eye sockets are and so that is the widest point and then it goes back down into a tapered shape at the bottom so it's kind of like a kite shape and then I'm going to sculpt their little horns that are on top of their head their horns go pretty much straight up and so you're gonna want to add both of those and both male and female giraffes have horns. And if you wanna make sure that their face is definitely male or female, you're gonna wanna make a male's forehead a little bit lighter in color with these bumps on it that are a little bit darker. And that's gonna make him a male if you wanna go that, 
that far into this. So mine is really a female. So anyways, on a few, then you're going to want to have to add the neck coming off the side. But now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be starting, starting to sculpt her ears. So I'm going to take and sculpt two triangles, and then I'm going to let them set for about 30 seconds or so. It depends on how warm your temperature is, what kind of acrylic you're using, if it's fats fast setting or slow setting or whatever. Once they start turning matte though, you can slide your brush underneath it and then fold in two of the corners of the triangle to create your ear. And really quickly, I just want to say congratulations to Talented Creations who won. Um, it's a little gift package from Pure Body Naturals that is for doing pedicures and essential oil stuff. So congratulations. I have contacted you already on how to receive that. And so yeah, and so now I'm going to start, I'm going to attach my giraffe's ear, so I'm going to place down a tiny bit of that gold acrylic with the tweezers, grab my ear, and set it in it, and then add just a little bit more of that gold acrylic on top just to make sure it's nice and fully attached. And so then I'm going to grab a bigger bead of gold acrylic and place it back on the forehead because right now it's pretty flat. The ears are at the same level as the horns and the forehead, but you want to make sure that her forehead and her down her, the center of her face is thicker. So you're going to want to add more acrylic at this point. And so right up the center of their face is going to be thicker. So as you can see, I'll turn it to the side just to see how it's looking. You want to make sure that it kind of slopes down and back on the side. So that's why I added that extra little bead in the center. And it's also going to be a little thicker down in her mouth area. So now with black acrylic, I'm going to be adding her eyes. So I'm going to add a black bead just about in the center, like right where it comes out to the thickest point of her face. And I forgot to show this in the video, and I do apologize. You're going to want to add black or dark brown acrylic to the tips of each horn and also down her back for her mane. And I'm sorry that I missed that part. My camera decided to not cooperate with me. But now with more gold acrylic, I'm going to be adding her eyelids. So just add a bead over the top and sort of pull it around in a, um, a semicircle around for both upper and lower eyelids. And when you're doing eyelids like this, you want to make sure that the black acrylic underneath is 116% dry. Because if it is at all still wet and mobile, your gold acrylic is going to turn black. And we don't want that. You want to make sure that the colors are nice and separate. So make sure that your black acrylic is nice and set. And then I'm going to be adding her nostrils, and as you can see, I set that one down, and the bead was just way too large, so I picked up a new one. And so you're going to place down a bead, let it set for just a couple seconds, and then press it into the center like you're making a petal. And now switching to acrylic paint, I'm going to start adding some details. I'm going to be darkening up some of the areas, so I'm going to darken just the line between her face and her neck, and I'm also going to darken down the center of her face along with inside her nostrils and her lips. Inside her ears as well. And then once you have all that, so you're going to want to dilute your round paint for doing these parts. And also I'm going to do, just sort of blend the tips of her horns down. And then I'm going to paint with the same shade of brown on her spots that are on her neck. And so now I'm going to take some diluted white paint and I'm going to do some highlighting on her eyelids. And her nostrils. And also the tips of her ears. And then a little bit on her mane just to give it some hair appearance. And then with black, I'm going to fix up her eyes a little bit and add some black inside her ears. And then also the line between her face and her neck and inside each, each nostril. And I'm going to cover her with some matte top coat. So this is just over the 3D art. And then I'm going to cover the background, so all that light blue, with some gel sealer so it's nice and glossy. And then I'm going to add just some gel sealer over her eyes so they're nice and shiny as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And definitely comment if you want to see more on where I get inspiration and how I create my designs. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!